So the main reason I bought this little Craftsman amp meter was to uh, check and see what my batteries are doing when I was charging. So I'm just about fully charged now. I can tell by my amps. Stick it over here on the plus lead, or or the or the negative for that matter. It'll just have a little minus sign. But you can see I'm putting in uh, about five and a half amps. And what's nice too is you can see what you're taking out. So right here you can see I've got a couple of things on in the RV, mainly the uh, the refrigerator is is about a quarter of an amp. Uh, I've got the strip disconnected and uh, the uh, humidity strip. And right now I just turned on the water heater. That's the majority of the uh, amps right there, the water heater, even though it's uh, it's gas. Uh, it involves a 12 volt solenoid and uh, it's more than I thought it was but uh, it, it takes darn near an amp to uh, heat your water so but I just wanted to demonstrate this little meter right here because it's just so damn handy and uh, it's a clip on DC or AC but the only thing I use it for is the uh, DC clip on function it's just so handy I know there's a other method, permanent methods, but for pull boy operation, you just can't beat it. In a lot of instances, it's probably better because you can see exactly what's going on at every wire, and that's why I use it. So, just wanted to demonstrate that. Anyway, just wanted to show you that. That deal on the uh, Craftsman DC clip-on amp meter. It was only about 49 bucks, and uh, most of them you find are over a hundred. And this thing is dead on accurate. I've tested it with a uh, inline amp meter, and uh, I mean it's spot on. So I can't complain for 49 bucks. It takes two, uh, double, two uh, AAA batteries, and uh, but I highly recommend a DC clip-on amp meter of any brand. I'm not pushing Craftsman. I'm just saying that it was the cheapest I could find, and uh, it works great. So that's all I got for this.